Hey guys, um, I'm on my computer. I mean, I'm recording with my laptop, which is why everything's all fuzzy and weird. Um, so, I don't really know what's going on, but I figured I'd make a video to let you know that I am home and stuff, and, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's weird. Um, people are annoying. Um, yeah, no, people are just annoying, and I'm tired of it, and I just, I want the world to stop being annoying, like, I, I know it's not gonna happen, and people are going to be annoying for the rest of my life, and I should probably just shut up and deal with it, but, um, I, <laughs> there's so many things that are just happening that I don't know what to do with, because you can't fix it, and you can't just go with it? Like, it's just... W it Who's actually gonna see these videos that really cares? Anyway, so... Um, my friend... Thing... Had, uh... He gives me hugs whenever we see each other, like, you know, regular people. And he's like, holy shit, it's Steph Schwartz. Gives me a hug, and then... He's sitting next to this girl, and she just... Like, are you one of the nicest pre people that I know? And she's very, like, she's not a slut. She's just promiscuous and really flirt, like, not flirty, but, like, overly nice with everyone. Even girls, just really, really nice. And he's, like, sitting next to her, and she shoots me, like, the get the fuck out, like, death look. And I'm just like, you're the nicest- you're like one of the nicest people I know. What- what is going on? And so I went to go say bye to everyone, cause, you know, I was leaving and stuff like regular people do when they leave. They're like, oh, bye guys, hugs and stuff. And, um, they're like sitting like this, like really close to each other. And I'm like, well, that's kind of a, her personality and he doesn't give a crap about anything, like, you can do whatever you want to him, and he'll still talk to you. I know because I've tackled him and punched him in the dick so many friggin' times that he is probably not going to be able to have children. Um, just a whole slew of things that should not, like, if they happen, you should no longer be friends with that person. So that just makes me a terrible person. Whatever, we're, we'll figure it out. Probably not. But, um, so they were like sitting awkwardly close and I was like, what else? And then I went out in the hallway and they were there and they were like holding hands and like swinging back and forth and like that. And I'm just like, oh shit, they're dating. I should remove myself from this situation and probably not accept hugs from him anymore because he initiates them and we've been friends for like two years so I'm not going to be like, no hugs, sir. But um... I think I need to. So it was just weird. And... I don't know. That was weird. Um, and then my stepsister was like, Hey, you're... I like this a lot. I mean, I'm, it, the video quality sucks, but it actually tells me how long I'm going right down there. And uh, it's nice. So I know when I hit like the seven minute mark, I should shut the fuck up. But um, then she called me a feminist and I was like, maybe, sort of, I don't really know. Not really, no. And, um, and then my friend texted me, and he was like, Hey woman, get your ass over my house. I'm like, seriously? You've known me for almost four years now. You seriously think that's gonna fly? So, I was like, dude, I'm gonna punch you in the dick. I'm gonna cut your dick off. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna do all this crap. Shut up. And he still did it. And I was like, no, fuck you, I'm not hanging out with you, this is bullshit. So I didn't call him back, I didn't text him back, I didn't do anything. So he gets two other people. So this three people are calling me and texting me for a half hour straight. And I'm like, seriously, you think blowing up my phone for a half hour is going to make me pick up? No. And I'm just like, put phone down, don't touch it, done. For a half hour. And I'm just like... Maybe I'll take a nap. Maybe I'll, uh, 
you know, like, cry in a corner, There's, maybe I'll, uh, like, go watch stupid cat videos on the internet. There's so many better things to do than pick up the phone, like, I don't know, so I sat there watching, uh, American Dad with my dad, my sister, and my stepbrother, who are also very annoying. I mean, I love them, but when I'm on the phone with my mom, and they're all talking, and so my voice starts to escalate, like, get a little bit louder, and then they're like, whoa, why are you yelling? I'm like, because I can't hear you for shit, my mom is yelling at me, and, um, stop. And then they start making fun of me, and then my sister's like, Oh, well, I can get mom to, you know, answer and be fine. It's just you. And I'm like, good. She failed. Um, but so, then they call me, and they're like expecting me to hang out with them. And it's like, no, not gonna happen. And then, God, he, um, there's three comments on my fucking Facebook that, why they happened, I don't know. Like, in all seriousness, like, one comment, I don't know what's going on with the shirt, sorry, um, I, it might be because I'm sitting awkwardly, but, um, there's one comment that's like, what's your pirate name? Mine is, uh, Mad Something Chum Bucket? Sounds cool. I don't know. Whatever. And then my one friend starts with Captain, and I'm like, oh my god, why is my name start with an S? Why can't it be something else? Um, but it was like based off of the first letter of your name and crap and so he comments what his pirate name it is and he goes what the fuck am i black and i'm just like uh why would that make you black racist and the, the, just racist and then everyone's like viking my racist comment like just just the word not an actual like racist comment and uh i'm just like good for you guys and it hit seven minutes i'm sorry guys it's gonna keep going and I'm just like, good for you guys, but I want to punch him in the face. And then he, like, wrote song lyrics that... I, I don't know what the music sounds like, but reading them is not entertaining at all. And sometimes song lyrics, reading them is like, this is gonna be a really good song. No. And then he put, hashtag writing. And I'm just like, you're on Facebook, no hashtags, get the fuck out. And then he's like, well, how am I supposed to make it, like, known that it's my work? without looking unprofessional. I'm like, hashtags make you look like a fucking five-year-old. Like, seriously, it's not professional at all. It's not anything. You're on Facebook. Hashtag writing does not give you, like, credit for this work at all. Putting, like, oh, original work by so-and-so would. Like, normal people. Not hashtag writing. How does that give you any credit for anything that you do ever? Like, I could put hashtag writing, like, oh, this is my poem, and I was doing this today. Hashtag writing. And maybe it would make more sense. But no, he just, he put hashtag writing after these song lyrics. And I'm just like, that doesn't make me think that you wrote this. Like, obviously it's your status. You probably wrote it. But you're a fucking idiot. Uh, so there's that. There was that. Blah, blah. And then, um, uh, we were like, he tagged me in a post. He's like, oh, uh, this person, this person, this person, Stephanie, we all need to hang out. And I'm just like, Yay, I like the other people right now. You, not so much. But, like, there was like 20 comments of just blah, 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 blah. And then he put, can I put it in now? And I'm just like, I cannot believe you just said that on Facebook. Because, um, like, it was me, him, and his friend all hanging out by ourselves. Like, in his house alone. And they automatically started talking about, like, sex and weird jokes, and I'm just like, I'm completely done with this. And they're like, can you put it in now? And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Take me home immediately. And then they wouldn't for like 15 minutes. I'm like, whatever, I can drive. I'll just steal your fucking car. I've done it before. And um, he was in the car when I stole it. Don't worry, he got his car back. No one cares. Um, but I've done it before. And so I was just like fed up with the whole situation. And then he put it on Facebook. And I was like, are you, are you kidding me right now? Like everyone's like, oh, maybe it's an inside joke. Maybe it's an inside joke. Maybe they have a thing going on, like with some stupid thing. So I comment on the bottom. I'm like, only if it's Fight Club and you like it's a VHS and you put it in the right fucking VHS player because he did that, and the VHS was broken. 
So I haven't seen Fight Club, and it's just bothering me. But so I tried to make it look like it was about a movie, because that was just... I was like, no, you cannot put this on Facebook, you dumb fuck. And he did. And so I'm just, I don't know what he what he's doing right now, because he's making all these, like, sexist, racist, fucking obnoxious jokes, and it's just pissing me the fuck off. And it needs to stop, and I need, to, like, we've been friends for four years, how do you not know this is going to piss me off? It just, I don't know. Anyway, this video is like, exceedingly long, and I'm sorry for ranting, but, um, I just, it's pissing me off, and people are fucking annoying. And it's progressively gotten darker in the last... 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Bye!